Zeri Ash. I think this is actually a pretty good lane. You have a lot of damage. You have also slows for Zeri so she can continue to Q whatever the enemy laner is going to be. And Vital and Peter can get some early game power with this Jace, the Nautilus fights that you can try to lock the Zeri down with with Aphelios when he hits um, his Immortal Shield Bow, which I assume will be the build we'll see from him. It's been a long time. Yeah, he's one of our, our currently our highest uh, involvement champion here in the LCK. I would assume it's because, okay, this is very annoying for Sylvie. Welcome to Ash Kingdom. So ahead, um, and you're, you can force summoner or get a kill. I mean, this is what you do. And Kari is like, I already have 120 gold. Hail of Blades, too. Yep. Gonna hit him over the wall. <laughs> There's really one place unless owner went for a back. As now, Owner has not revealed himself just yet. He's going in onto Sylvie here. The flash misses, but he's got Zeus coming in. From the top side, there is the stun. And again, Sylvie doesn't have flash, so they can just immediately flash on him. As another flail will come out, and Sylvie is trying to get through the acceleration gate, and he will get away. Way to kind of just leave your Aphelios and, and try to make something happen. As Karia is here, might be looking to slow down Fiesta, who goes in for the all-in. Might need to flash. He does get onto the minion here. As Chaos Storm thrown out, Fiesta in a bit of trouble, and there he goes. Has the flash. That seems pretty likely. The Elise just exerting her power, but look at mid lane. Faker's gonna get that push and get first roam down into the river. As okay, the ult comes out from the Sejuani. Peter in a lot of trouble. Look at that Chaos Storm damage already coming out here. Fiesta gonna steal the Sejuani ultimate, but his entire team is already too low. Uh, the 80 really carry so you can get plates. Nope, he's just the utility here. Just utility, keep the Zarya alive. Is, Dun -dun. Yeah, he's going in here. He's got the Dominus. There's a lot of damage. There's the knockback. Zeus had flash, but... Plate gold over the Renekton. Lucaria getting a bit aggressive this time around. This is now. There's an Elise nearby, and yeah, he's just going to accept his fate. Nothing can stop that kill from happening. Doesn't even bother flashing. And they knew the likely trajectory of where Kari would be based on the arrow angle and the fact that he's missing here under turret. Now they can look for Guma. This is how you play this comp. Well, Guma, let's see if he can do it. 1v3, doing a pretty good job so far. He flashes, but the Repel, again, very, very strong, and they finally do get the kill. Good aggro. Oh, oh man. Oh, he stepped <laughs> out because he's got only one shot left. It was until that moment, great juggling of the aggro on the turret. Mid lane has been pretty interesting. Baker going very, very low. He's still looking for the trade. Dodges the chains, and the Chaos Storm might be enough damage. One more tick maybe gets him as Fiesta flashes afterwards. Uh, is he still? I mean, if Faker goes up a little bit, that was so close. Faker doesn't flash, man. Never, Never. afraid. Not for a moment. Uh-oh, still in a bad spot here. He doesn't have flash. He's gonna repel here to the ward, but he is just dead. We'll see who they give this kill over to. Faker's like, no, we're not feeding the Zeri. What the hell? I'm gonna carry Fiesta. Uh-oh. Guma in a bit of trouble. He's trying to trade it back, but the amount of CC is just too much. Two kills now for Vital here in this game. This is becoming a problem. Din Din in a bit of trouble now. This Renekton very tanky. Tries to knock him back into the turret to trade one back, but it's not. Yeah. Should be able to. Although Zeus wants to say something else about this. They are going to do a bunch of damage to him and trying to turn this around, especially with that teleport. Zeus is just going to respect it for quite a while. Struggling to have a big impact in this game, unfortunately for him. This is Sedjuani. We'll see if they can CC down Sedge, as it looks pretty likely he will get low enough, as Peter does a good job. And here is Guma. Baker. And this is a lot of damage from the Victor. A huge Chaos Storm on the left side of the map is just going to zone them all away, as now Fiesta trying to run away from the Zeri. Might be able to get away for now, but Sylvie maybe not as lucky as T1, considering do we continue to chase, or do we just take it as a really nice flash laser comes out from Baker. There's something about how Faker's playing this season. It's just... Yeah, so what are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Okay. Baits him in, I guess. I mean, that's yeah, just so still that not now. safe, by the way. Poor Sylvie, man. Yeah, I think he's just dead. He flashes. Chaos Storm is down. He is just going to die for the fifth time. Faker. He has the... <laughs> What we said after, oh well, man, the arrows just keep he's on coming. He's got flash too, he doesn't yeah, need it. Linden's so dead here. <laughs> yeah, he's not even gonna flash. He's like, what do I do? Uh, okay, well, he is gonna flash now, interestingly. Uh, Zeus, he- Fiesta! Ah, uh, he's got the slice, there it is. Perhaps the dice soon enough. And they say, okay, cool story, bros. We're just gonna take the Baron then. Zeus will die, and Sylvie is bought, so that is Baron. Yep. 
You see Fiesta TP down. You see, I mean, you know Elise is coming or it's not going to be a good uh, ending. And you can just go take Baron. Vital and Peter, good luck with this one. 200 years moment? What year is it exactly? I don't I don't remember. What, what is this Abelius doing in this game? Not sure. But the Baron is taken. Nice knock up here on a Baker as he will take a bunch of damage, but does flash away. He's burning down. He's going to hear bottom side since Fiesta teleports. So, game wolf. I mean, they're, they're at least going to try to turn this into a positive teleport. I said try. Yeah. Is that is that a bigger maybe than <laughs> before? Or how about a bigger maybe than when they left the Ash available and we're like, maybe they've got a plan. I don't know, well, Carly Adjustment's not getting called, maybe, you know. Uh, you know, kill in the 1v1 for Fiesta, but. Yeah. It's a rough time for the side of Gnome Shin. That's going to be a bunch of damage now to Dindin, who has to back away. And from ahead, composition has. Have. Oh, that's right, I did. It just didn't do anything. Doesn't hurt him. It, it, it did like negative damage. Um, so yeah, they're just gonna stand in front of this. We'll see if perhaps Sylvie can redeem himself a little bit with a spike. Look at this, T1 are actually turning. Imagine not flipping in 2023, Wolf. What am I watching? As they dive straight into the Aphelios and it just doesn't matter. Even if he loves that position, he is just not in a position to carry from here. This should be a clean ace as they're looking for Sylvie. They're looking for Vital. They will get Sylvie now. It's Vital. Looks like he'll keep himself alive for just a little bit longer. Wish he had Gale Force. He's like, I got a Gale Force for it. Got a Gale Force for it. Can I get the execute? How many minions this can I take? Just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they actually should be able to get the execute, but they're going to lose the game. They're just, yeah, he's just stopping <laughs> backing. Zeus is never engaging. Well, not yet. Maybe once he starts running into the turret. Um, Zayas does have flash. Yeah, I think he will try for this. Uh, no, he has to go around the inhibitor. Okay, so he runs it down, makes sure he doesn't back. Uh, so, uh, yeah, one mistake here for Nongshim. The game ends, we don't even get to talk about it, Elder. No mistakes, even. <laughs> Silly just out of the fight immediately. Not able to do much against that. Owner just bursting him alone, essentially, with some help from Karia. The slow and steady tumble into the base will come through very nice arrow once again straight to the gravity well that is the end of this chase and Zeus just gonna go under the turret straight into the Aphelios maybe not the best call but it's fine because Guma is just so bad he's pressing his buttons they're gonna smack him down with their wallets here at the end of the game as you always do and that'll be game number one here for the side of T1 as Baker decides well I'll give you a little gift a little parting gift here for a game ま、ビジュアルの見えね。ハブテキとカメラ I'm done, you go. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. 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 I'